Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest Darkness of Hallowvale. The quest requirement is in aid of the Merrick and the stat requirements are 5 construction, 20 mining, 22 thieving, 26 agility, 32 crafting, 33 magic and 40 strength. Items needed, 2 regular planks, 8 metal nails of any kind, a hammer and being on the regular spellbook. For the recommended items are because we don't need to fight anything during this quest, bring only weight reducing clothing and about 3 or 4 stamina potions should be enough. Then what is also recommended is to bring along your best available pickaxe and if you have 43 prayer be sure to have some prayer points and if you do not have access to protects from melee then bring along some good food. For the teleport simply 3 to Burgerat and then 1 to the temple of Pater Thomas and 1 after the quest is completed. Where to start this quest is where we have ended in aid of the Myrarchy here underneath the pub of here in Bergerot. Climb down the trapdoor and let's talk to Valley of Hertz and select option 4, 1, 4 and then 3. Then also one on the boat. What the fuck? It worked last time. What the shit? And select option 4, 1, 4, 3 and then 2. Next, let's climb up the ladder and let's exit Burgerot by going southeast to the coast. Southeast of the bank there will find a boat and a boat chute. Both of them are broken. To fix them we will simply need to use a regular plank on it. So a plank on the boat and then one on the boat chute, uh, fix it. And once both are fixed, let's right click on the boat and push. Next, let's go to the pier just next to it and board the boat. While you're running there, then just quickly go to your world switcher because next we will find some wire watches. And sometimes they can just come down to you and they ask you to let them suck some of your blood. You can actually negate all of that by simply quick hopping to another world. So once you're here at the Sanguistini region, let's jump onto the rock and then climb up the rock and then follow the wall until it goes straight north. At that corner, before it goes straight north, you should find a floor which you can search. Search it, then select option 1 to kick it down. Then around the edges, you should find the climb down option. Let's do so. Go a bit north and you'll find some wall sign on your minimap. Climb over the broken wall, this will take a moment. Next, here we'll find some fire watches and citizens. Talk to any citizen and select option 4, 4 and then what the shit. Alright. What the fuck, it worked last time, why can't I hop now? You're a dick. Talk to any citizen and select option 4, 4 and then 3. After speaking to the citizen, let's go a bit north. And let's go to the second row of buildings. There will find a bigger building with two doors on the southern side. Open any door and inside you will find old man Ral. Let's talk to him and select option 4 twice.
Next, it is already time for the mandatory agility rooftop course. So let's go exit and let's go to the house just southwest and there I'll find a ladder sign. Climb up that ladder. And by the way, on this agility course, always click to where you want to jump to. Not from, but where you want to jump to. So first, I want to go to the southern building. So here's a hole in the wall, jump to, then go east, jump towards that, then go to the northeastern corner, push the wall, and once it's down, walk across the floor, then crawl under the wall, Then go to the second room and immediately west next to the bed they'll find another wall that you can push. Then walk across it, climb down the ladder. Then on the eastern side you'll find a table, search it. Then open and climb down. Next on the northwestern corner they'll find a shelf, click on it to climb to the second floor. The next you will find a hole in the wall, crawl through it, then jump east to the next building and then take the ladder to go downstairs to the main floor. Afterwards run east, search the pot to find a key, use this to open the door next to you and then run east to the next room to the next ladder. Take three steps west and then jump to the southern building. Then go on your minimap and click as far south as possible. And then at the end, just a bit northwest, they'll find a shelf. Click on it to go to the third floor. And then climb up the ladder just west. To the top floor. Next, go to the southeastern corner of this floor and then jump to the northwestern corner of the building just south. And then climb down the ladder just next to you. Next, go east and cross the washing line. And they will find a ladder climb down. Next, go north and push the wall. Then once again, Cross it. Then about six tiles just north of you, you'll find a shelf. Climb it to go to the third floor. Next, we will need to go to the northeastern corner. They'll find another shelf, but this time we will need to go. We will need to use it to go down. Then go to the northwestern corner, and then we'll need to jump onto the southeastern corner of the building just north. And then go north, we will need to jump, but this time a smaller gap, to the northern building. Then go to your minimap and go to the northeastern corner. And there I'll find another small jump that we can jump eastward. Then climb up the ladder. And at the western wall you'll find a ladder on a wall. Take it. Then go back down to the second floor. And then use the ladder top on the ladder going down just next to you. And then immediately use that ladder. Next, open the door next to you and go a bit north. Until you hit a wall, just keep going straight north. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked. Hop, 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 please let me hop. Alright, uh, here at the corner of the two buildings, enter the house and there I'll find a ladder. Climb up and there I'll find a knife spawn just south. Take it off the table and then go back downstairs. Next, exit the house going through the other door. There I'll find one next to you. Go north until you see a sickle on a wall. From there, go east and then take the first door on your south. Climb up the ladder. Then jump east to the next building, and then we've made it, then go downstairs, and then we've made it to the hideout. Walk east of the staircase and you'll find a wall, use your knife on it. Click to continue and then right click and push the wall. Then south of the grey wall you'll find a decorated wall, press it 
and then on the southwestern square you'll find a lumpy rock. Open it, and then climb down. And congratulations, you've made it to the hideout. Let's run north and you'll find one NPC. Talk to him and select option 3. Once you have gotten this letter, let's uh, deliver this to Valley of Hurts in Burgnerat. I'm gonna be using a Shades of Morton teleport, minigame teleport, because I'm quite cheap. Let's deliver this letter to Valley of Hurts, and once you're talking to him, select option 1 and then 3. Give the letter, what do I do now? I need to go to Patrodomus. So once he has said that, let's uh, teleport to Patrodomus and let's talk to Dreezel. Ooh, someone is doing a Slayer task or is trying to get the Ghoul Slayer. No. Champion Scroll, yeah. Alright, let's talk to Dreezel. He will be giving my shit back. I don't really want to. Alright, after we've spoken to him, we will need to go to the entrance of the Temple of Patrodomus. If you have level 65 agility, then just simply use the shortcuts and make your way to the entrance that way. If you don't, just run around. In front of the temple there will find some stairs. Go down those stairs and they will find some bushes. Search the most southeastern one and this should trigger a cutscene. Once the cutscene is over, let's return to Dreezel. Once again, if you have 65 agility, use the shortcut if you can. Alright, and Dreezel will give you some runes, which will allow you to teleport to Varrock. After the conversation is over, let's teleport to Varrock and then run north to run into the castle and talk to King Rold. Select option 1, 4 and then 1. Alright, free teleport to Paterdomus, but we will now actually need to go to Bergderoth. Yeah, no need to talk to Dreezel, so let's go to Bergderoth and let's report what the king has told us to Veliev Hertz. Select option 2 and then 3.
Next, we will need to return to the Mayor Ditch City to warn the Mayarchy. So yeah, let's return to the boat. Be sure that you have brought your pickaxe because Jagex has made an update to make Darkness of Hellville quest a bit easier. And doing the mining route is now a lot faster. Be sure that you have your pickaxe, maybe a couple of empty infantry spaces. And let's return to the boat to go back to the Sanquishti region. Jump onto the rock, climb the rock, and in my experience, those level 125 fire watches don't send you to the mines. So let's go to the main... Oh no. The 125s, you can't talk to them, but if you can talk to the 110s, or just go into the city and talk to any of the fire watches, and then select option 1, or if they come down automatically, then just select the second option, send me to the mines. If you talk to them, then there's only one option of sending you to the mines. Once you're here, it's a little bit similar if you fucked up the tourist trap quest. Here, you'll find a couple of dialed rocks. Each rock will now contain three ore. Once you have 15 ores, just put them in the cart and talk to any vampire juvenile and he will send you back to the city. By the way, if you don't have enough inventory space, you can just put them in the cart, no problem. I'll see you back once I have put 15 ore in the cart. Holy shit, there's a massive difference between 37 and 55 mining. And that is number 15. Let's talk to any vampire juvenile. And they will send us to the northern side of the city. So now we'll need to return to the hideout. From this point, we will now need to go a bit south, southeast, until you see like a T-junction of buildings. From here, go south, southwest, until you see another, some kind of T-junction. From there, go east, and then south. And just keep running south until you can't go any further. And once you can't go any further, just go a bit north and then enter the building just west of you. Open three doors south and there you've already made it to... God damn it. The ladder. Climb up the ladder. Jump to the building just east. Climb down the other ladder. Go east. Right click. Push the wall. Then push the decorated wall, open the lumpy rock. Let's talk to the dude in the hideout and select option 3 and then 2. And he will lead the way all the way back south of the city. Let's go downstairs and let's return to the wall of rubble. Where we have climbed over at the start of the quest. Which takes forever to climb over. Here just southwest of the city. Let's climb over the wall. Then go a bit south to the kicked down floorboard. Let's climb up. 
and then follow the wall north until you can't go any further. When you can't go any further, just west behind the wall you'll find a hidden ladder, climb down. Three steps east they'll find a rocky surface, search it. Then a bit northwest they'll find a barricade, open it and then run north. And north in the northeastern corner they'll find another ladder, climb up. And next let's run north, keep going north. You will need to go up and down a set of ladders just once and just keep going north until you see a big crossroad. Once you've made it to the big crossroad, be sure that you have at least four empty inventory slots and there you'll find Safalan. Let's talk to him and select option one twice. Once he has given you the charcoal and the papyrus, let's run west. Keep running on this wall until you've passed two sickles and you will need to stand on the third one which is located north of Dragon's Castle. So after your nice morning walk, there will find next to the elite no master stash, stand on the sickle and then use your charcoal on the papyrus. Next let's return to the second sickle logo which is on the southwestern side, western side of the castle. Once you're here at the logo, stand on it, use your papyrus on the charcoal and this will start a cutscene. Once the second cutscene is over, let's return to Safalon and pretty close to him, just west, they'll find the final sickle. Once again, we will need to stand on it and use our charcoal on the papyrus, but before you do that, you will get attacked by a very strong vampire. Be sure to use Protect from Melee before you start sketching the castle. Protect from Melee and you will take zero damage. Let's start sketching and start this awesome boss battle of you doing absolutely nothing. Just tank 5 hits, either eat a lot of food or use protect from melee. Once he has given us a sucker punch, the cutscene will be over and we will be saved by Sarius Gill. After the cutscene is over, we will need to talk to her before sketching our final piece. So let's talk to the woman until we have a fade out and she leaves. Next, since we were a bit too busy, let's go back to the southeastern sickle, use your charcoal on the papyrus to make the final castle sketch. Once we have this, we will need to return to the hideout. The easiest way now is just by talking to a firewatch and hopefully, and then select option one. And they will send us back to the mine. 
So, once again, uh, yeah, you know what to do. Alright, once you've mined all 15, let's talk to another juvenile. let's get out of here. And once again, to get to the hideout, first we'll need to run south and then southeast until you see a T-junction of buildings from there, go southwest and then south to the horizontal T-junction, then go a bit east and then go south until you can't go any further south. Here's the building with the two southern, with the two doors, north and south. Let's go through that building, but instead of going to the hideout, let's try to skip a part. So let's run west, at the sickle, go south, and go back to where you came from. Let's enter the building, and here inside of the building where we have found our knife spawn, at the main floor we'll find a fireplace. Use your knife on it. To find a message, next use your knife on the portrait on the southern wall. Then inspect it to get a key. Next run north. Let's return to the hideout. So here at the sickle sign, go east, open the southern door, jump to the eastern building, climb down the stairs and then open the lumpy rug. And now there are two NPCs. We will now need to talk to Safalan, the guy in the purple robes. Let's talk to him. Select option 1 and then 2. Next. We are almost done. Let's exit the hideout. So to exit, push the wall, climb up the stairs, jump to the western building and climb down the ladder. Then when you're down, let's run north. Open the three doors and from here we will need to run north, northeast. Keep going north, northeast until you can't go any further. That should be around here. There are there's a quite big building with three doors. Open the western door. They'll find a gold red tapestry. Use your knife on it to make a hole. Then click on the top side to walk through. In the southeastern corner they'll find a statue. Use your key on it gotten from the tapestry in the other building. Then just two tiles north you'll find a door. Open it once the cutscene is over. And then climb down the staircase to enter the laboratory. Then a couple of tiles to your west you'll find a old rune case. Search it to get some runes. Then go a bit a couple of tiles south. Go to the regular spellbook and use telekinetic grab on the book on the table. 
And let's bring this book to the hideout. So, uh, yeah, make your way all the way back. But instead of going north, northeast, just go south, southwest. Be sure to click on the top side of the tapestry. That's quite annoying. And here is the building with three doors directly diagonally of each other. No. Straight south, straight vertically next to each other. Let's return to the hideout. What the fuck was that? They're big boys, they can do it. Lumpy Once we've returned to Safala, let's talk to the dude in purple. You will give him the Heimel Kemi book. He will give you a sealed letter. Let's return to Bergerat. Let's give this letter to Veliev by selecting option 1. And congratulations, you've already completed the Darkness of Hellovil quest. You are awarded with 2 quest points. 7,000 agility experience, 6,000 thieving experience, 2,000 construction experience, and a tome of experience, which grants three times 2,000 experience in any skill above level 30. Also, you've now completed a quest requirement for the quest A Taste of Hope, and you've now also unlocked the trip from Patrodomus back to Bergerot during the Temple Tracking minigame. Alright, this was my quick guide how to complete Darkness of Hellovil quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.